and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys how I stopped breastfeeding Junior using the cold turkey method. Let me start off by saying this was not something I chose to do lightly. Cold turkey method is one of the harshest ways that you can wean your baby off breastfeeding, yet it's one of the quickest ways. From birth, Junior has co-slept with us. He's also been breastfed on demand, which means that he gets fed wherever and whenever he wants. Mentally, so... I had to make sure I was fully committed. As this was not the first method we actually tried. So I tried pumping, I tried replacing his bottles, I tried swapping formula, and I also tried to wait and see if he'd actually give up on his own. I even tried doing cold turkey about a month or two before, and I just didn't have the motivation. So, because I was tired, it just wasn't the right time, and I just gave up. So, I was becoming drained, he was draining me, and this was good for neither of us because if I'm unable to take care of myself, how am I going to take care of him? I reduced the accessibility, which meant I was less likely to give in due to the ease of being able to get my breast out. I then swapped out my nursing bras for a regular non-clip-on bra. I swapped out my non-clip-on shirts for a regular fitted vest top that I wore on top of my bra. On top of that, I wore an oversized shirt that belonged to my husband. Not only was this helpful for Junior because out of sight, out of mind, but it reduced the scent of my breast milk that he would smell. So he was smelling my husband rather than myself. And I found this to be my top tip. Junior being breastfed on demand meant that he didn't really have a schedule, but I could then monitor him to try and see when he was mainly feeding. And I found that to be, he was mainly drinking his milk long for longer periods, whereas not just for comfort. At nap times and when he wanted to really go to Every sleep, journey before bed. will have its rough patch. And as long as you keep pushing through and you know your end goal, it won't be as hard. So with me, we bought every bottle you could think of and every bottle that was highly recommended to us from the really cheap ones to the really expensive ones. And it is not a cheap journey doing this because... Whew, Sometimes you can't really buy baby bottles, buy ones. So we have sets of six, sets of two, sets of four. We also have every teat imaginable. People said fast flow, slow flow, colic flow, anti-colic flow. And I just listened and wanted to see what could work. So I bought them all. I then tried over 10 types of formula, from again, the really cheap ones to the really expensive ones. I then tried pumping my milk out and giving it to him in the bottle. That didn't work. I then tried, I wasn't gonna feed him any bottles at all. I was gonna let my husband do all the feeds and this, will only, this was only useful to us on the weekend. Worst bit about the rough patch, he had the most, ugh, horrible cry, like, there's normal cry, and then there's demon cry. I was like, oh my God, how am I gonna deal with this? And this was every time we fed him. And then he would just have random outbursts. I was exhausted. Junior was tired and bless him, he was probably hungry. And we were just going around in this vicious, vicious cycle. I was, Junior has a bottle, daddy gives him a bottle, Junior doesn't want a bottle. Junior started throwing tantrums. Junior wasn't having it. Junior wouldn't sleep. Junior then refused to eat. Junior was a completely different kid and I just felt useless because I, again, was still not gonna give in. The crying alone can make you want to give in because you feel sorry for him. You also then feel a little bit guilty because, you know, I could just give in the boob and we would be okay, but then again, you'd be back to where you started. So, 
You just have to keep focused and remember rule number one, why you originally decided to start this journey and keep repeating this, write it down and have it on your phone as a reminder. So it comes at every two hours or every time you feed him. So you know that this is why I started and this is why I'm going to continue doing this. Junior then stopped eating. He wouldn't take his dinner and I had to consult this with my midwife and doctor. They said as long as he was drinking water, it was just a phase and this would pass. So I didn't want to starve my baby, but I started to then think, what can I replace his milk with that isn't milk? So I then tried giving him cheese sticks. He had fromage fraise yogurts. He then had fruit. Junior loves fruit, especially mango and pineapple. So I would buy loads of pineapple, mangoes, bananas, apples. He would eat all of it. And this was showing some progress because he wasn't crying for the boob as much. So anytime he did want the boob, I would then give him a banana to nibble on. Or I would give him um, a little cheese stick or something that had dairy in it. Um, we also bought this 360 non-spill cup and he'd like that because Junior, I'd say, is a very advanced for his age. He's happy to drink from our cups and he thinks he's grown. So the 360 cup that my sister recommended was really, really good. And I'll post the link on the bottom of the actual cup we used. And he was actually drinking water and juice from this. Now I tried the formula from this cup as well. He was not having it. So maybe he was just not a formula baby. Breast milk has so much nutrition. And by me cutting this off meant I then had to replace that, those nutrients with a balanced diet. So I started introducing him to things like spinach, kale, fish, eggs, wheat bread, you know, just, just regular, really healthy food. I then would give him dairy and anything that I could think of. So if I was giving him sweet potato, I would add some milk to that. I would give him bits of cheese which meant he was still then getting some form of dairy as well. Um, I would also give him five mil of well baby vitamin, which I would add to his milk muesli or porridge in the morning. And he'd have this once a day. And we seem to be making some progress. He wasn't asking for the boob really. And he was going about his day. He just needed some time to get used to it, I guess. Every journey will have its setbacks and that's okay. I used distraction as a safety net in order to counteract Junior saying, listen mate, I'm not having this, give me my milk now. I really think that's what he would sound like, <laughs> somewhat, but in a baby way. And we bought Junior flashcards and we would give this to him once or twice a day, depending on how many he'd actually get through. And he really loved the flashcards because it was something different. He'd mainly chew on them, but as long as mummy or daddy was playing with him, he was fine. We then replaced his Around We Go walker into a more mobile walker. And this meant he could go around the house more freely. So he, was, he wasn't just confined to the room where mummy was. He was able to walk around and see more and be more free. So this was a big help. He also breastfed for comfort and we replaced this with cuddles. Um, we also replaced this with book reading time. Um, and we got a lot of musical type books where he could interact with the books as well instead of just simply reading to him. And if all of that didn't work, fruit always worked because Junior loves food when I tell you that boy can eat. So I'd cut up my fruit three or four days in advance, store them in about this size container and have loads of them in the fridge, which meant he'd probably have like one a day. I'd probably have some of it. And you don't want to be cutting up the fruit when they start crying. So it's really helpful to just have it all prepared. So then you just go, boom, 
here's a piece of banana there you go here's an apple stick and that was really helpful with making the transition a bit smoother you you need to find equal ground for yourself and that child you don't want to replace breastfeeding with another addiction you don't want to have a child that's addicted to either an iPad or cuddling because then you're going to have an obsessed child or a really clingy child and you just started to wean them off breastfeeding. That will just create more problems for yourself and another addiction that you're going to actually have to break one day. So equal ground, give them a variety of things, change their day up. Give them different types of food you just don't want a child that's eating solely bananas or doesn't want anything else you want to give them a variety you've passed your climax the journey's almost over and you're headed downhill your boobs are probably sore you're probably in a rush of emotions tired and every other emotion under the sun you probably have a new hunger or like me, I lost my appetite. When I stopped breastfeeding, I lost so much weight. I don't understand how that worked, but it worked that way. Most importantly, please do not pump or over pump your boobs. Yes, you can pump some of it out to relieve the pressure, but if you over pump, your supply is never going to dry up because your body's going to they'll think that some little baby is sucking off a bit. So you want to start reducing your supply. I didn't really do any of the cabbage leaf or drink this tea or anything for my supply to dry up. It just dried up on its own and I didn't really have any really too tender boobs. Um, I didn't really have to pump. But I'm going to say, please do not pump and dump. You can pump and you can reuse that milk, not to give to your baby, or you can even put it in their cereal. But I mean, if you're winning them off breastfeeding, that's kind of going back on yourself. So don't pump and throw. You can pump and add it to a spray bottle, which you can then use for postpartum hair loss. If your hair falls out because of all the stress that your body's been through. So you can use that milk to help thicken your hair. You can also use that milk on your stretch marks. Oh my God, breast milk is liquid gold. You can use it for so much. You can use it for your face. You can use it for the baby. You know, Junior scratches himself a lot. So you can, if they scratch themselves, you can just put a little bit of breast milk on there. You know, everything, you know, fixed again. You can use all the milk that you stored in the fridge to have baths. Have a breast milk bath. Put the baby in the breast milk. Please, just don't throw that milk away. You weathered the storm of the cold turkey journey. Well done, because it is not easy. As a mother, I told myself, and I'm sharing this with you guys. You breastfed your little one for as long as you could, and this does not affect your ability as a mother. Breastfeeding your baby alone is a superpower in itself, and you did an amazing job. It doesn't matter if you did it for one month, you didn't do it at all, or you did it for two, three, four, five, ten years, okay? Everyone is different, and you're raising your child and everyone is only trying their best. So do what works best for you and what works best for your baby and definitely what works best for your family. I feel extremely powerful yet so blessed to have been able to breastfeed my son on demand using no pumps or bottle for 10 months and that is just such an accomplishment and I'm so happy that I did it but now I'm gonna embrace this new chapter in our lives Junior is so much more independent and he spent so much more time with his dad now he doesn't need me as much 
and he plays on his own. I can go out by myself, which is really good because I didn't actually get to do that before at all. Junior, when I leave, I don't have to worry about his food. He's not bothered really if I leave. He doesn't cry and he's more accepting of new foods. Junior will eat anything. This child eats jerk chicken, plantain, breadfruit. He'll eat any fruit under the sun. He's definitely not a fussy eater. And from me being from Caribbean background, he's open to all the spices, which I am so happy about. This journey has been really good. It's bittersweet that it's ended, but it's life and we move on. It was Thank you everyone for joining me on my cold turkey breastfeeding journey. I hope that my experience will one day help you. And remember, don't give up. Everyone is different. Just try your best. You're doing great. Bye everyone.